In 2018, NASA selected Jezero Crater as the landing site for the Perseverance rover because it was thought to be the best place to search for evidence of life on Mars. So why, after three and a half years of exploration, has NASA decided to exit Jezero Crater? On this episode of Mars Guy, in the previous episode, I highlighted the targeted effort by Perseverance to understand this strange egg-shaped feature within some notably red rocks on the floor of Naretva Vallis. Apparently, after all the effort, the rock was not considered worthy of a precious core sample. A few days after I posted that episode, Perseverance moved on. And that moving on marked a clear exit from the ancient river channel that it had been exploring since arriving on the southern bank nearly three months ago. Here are Mars guys for scale. On the opposite bank is the location where Perseverance sampled a rock with robust organic signatures and strange leopard-like spots that might have been formed from iron-reducing bacteria. Together, these features make it the most important sample yet collected by Perseverance. But a victory lap won't be possible until the sample is returned to labs on Earth and proof of Martian microbes is found, both of which are pretty uncertain. Meanwhile, it's clear that Perseverance is out of the intriguing rocks and benign terrain of Naretva Vallis and back among gnarly rocks and rugged terrain that probably represent the carbonate-bearing margin unit. But it's not here to continue the margin campaign the fourth and final of the named science campaigns within Jezero Crater. This was preceded by the Delta Top, the Delta Front, and the Crater Floor campaigns. In fact, it's pretty clear that the plan is to avoid another long slog through the margin unit. Instead, thanks to the success of these previous campaigns and the health of Perseverance, the team can now pursue an audacious plan to explore the crater rim and beyond. This will require Perseverance to drive up slopes as steep as 23 degrees before topping out 800 meters above its landing site. A key science target on the rim can be seen just over the crest. Here there are concentric bands of lighter and darker materials that have been interpreted as layers that formed before the impact that created Jezero Crater. If that interpretation is correct, these could be layered sedimentary rocks formed very early in Martian history when the climate was perhaps at its most habitable. But close inspection of these bands reveals aspects that are inconsistent with layers. In some places, the bands intersect each other at sharp angles. Layers could do this where two different hill slopes come together, but that's not apparent here. And a fundamental question is whether layers formed before the cataclysmic impact would survive after it. Certainly the rim of Jezero Crater today has seen much erosion since it formed more than 3.5 billion years ago. Maybe erosion has exposed intact pre-existing layers. It's also possible that the Jezero impact exposed huge chunks of terrain from the unimaginably powerful earlier impact that produced the nearby Isidus Basin. Known as Mega Breccia, blocks of rock like these great examples about 60 kilometers from Jezero Crater are likely remnants of terrain shattered and scattered during the Isidus impact event. Now, thanks to the plan to exit Jezero Crater, we can look forward to an answer to this scientific conundrum in the coming few months. 